Got him. Get him up. Mm. Can't really. Yeah, that's a good one. Come on. Mm. Don't burn me in the. Oh, I felt the structure. Come on. What's going on, y'all? We are out here today offshore, but I have a really special episode planned for y'all. We're going to be out here dropping night crawlers, earthworms offshore. We're about two. Uh, we're about we're about two miles offshore right now. We may go even a little bit further uh, But y'all have seen me catch a lot of fish in salt water on worms But it's all been inshore species. So we're gonna be out here dropping these worms down So we can catch some fish y'all stay tuned. All right So these are the worms that we got here Canadian night crawlers. This is just what they had at Walmart about $4 uh, for a box of these and we're gonna be rigging them up on a chicken rig with some uh, two aught circle hooks right there. Now these reefs that we are fishing, look, those are worms right there, nice and lively. So yeah, but the, uh, the reef that we're fishing here has got all sorts of species on it. They got trigger, red snapper, mangrove snapper, as well as grunts, porgies, and a bunch of other stuff huge school of bait fish around me right now probably need to be throwing something else around this school of bait fish but that's not the goal for the day all right first drop with the worms going down really interested to see what happens here dude i'm getting bit i'm getting bit i just got to the bottom fish on first drop with the worms dude tighten my drag a little bit how crazy is that? Something feeling kind of strong too. First drop with the worms. I mean, as soon as it got to the bottom. Oh, trigger. Are you kidding me? <laughs> First drop with the worm, dude. Oh my goodness. Yes. This could be a game changer. And I mean, seriously, I know that's a small trigger right there. That is our first fish. Send that dude back down. Unbelievable. Now, I don't know if y'all have done a lot of like offshore fishing and stuff, but generally it's pretty expensive. Um, I got a box of cigar minnows behind me that I picked up this morning and that box of cigar minnows cost me 25 bucks for a five pound box of cigar minnows and this can of worms was like 275 from Walmart so that's crazy all right going back down no cuts and I'm not even all the way on the reef right now we drifted off of it a little bit but I'm still getting marks Come on, are we on bottom? There we go, we're on bottom. All right, we didn't pick up anything on that drop. We didn't leave it down there long, but I'm also off of the reef, so. All right, don't be a googan here, Nate. Let's get back on top of the reef, see if we can pick something up over there. And right, on top of the reef right now. So I do have Rusty back here also as kind of a test subject. He's using squid and he's not getting bit on squid right now either. So they either just ain't biting on this section of the reef, which is crazy because we dropped, I mean, as soon as we dropped down, we picked up that trigger fish. So we might have to move around, swap up some reefs. So I'm definitely not getting any bites now. All right, let's make a move to another reef. All right, dropping down on a new reef. Yeah. Oh, that was a fish on the worm. All right. Well, this is our second hookup. What do we got? What do we got? Well, that's species number two. We got a remora. Not what you want to catch offshore. These guys. I think I'd rather catch a hardhead than a remora. He was all the way down on the reef. All right. See you, dude. See you, see you. Wouldn't want to be you. Bye-bye.
dropping back down we're at two species i would love to be able to see like a red snapper or something like that eat one of these worms we're on there we go there we go fish number three it's feeling like a trigger come on what do we got oh we got a grunt so that right there would be a good bait fish we actually might keep him to throw out a little bit later on that right there is saltwater species number three on the worms so this is called a grunt because they grunt and make loud noises they're also called ruby red lips which they do got little tiny teeth in there but uh this guy's got more orange lips than anything but got really red inside of their mouths and uh yeah species number three on the worms still looking to get like that red snapper i want that crazy catch which i don't think any of us have pulled a red snapper off of here um rusty has been using behind me here he's been using squid and i think the only thing he's put in the box is a legal trigger so it's been an all-around slow day for everybody we got jack over here which pretty much he's just trolling around this morning looking for some kings there have been some sailfish in the area so he's doing that and uh the good news is is that rusty hasn't been lighting them up on squid so that just tells us that it's not a very very productive day but our current is supposed to switch here before long and when it does i hope the bite picks up just a little bit go over the reef and going back down come on i feel the bites very soft bites almost like a trigger fish bite the thing about those worms is they're able to just bite the end of it and pull it off i've tried using smaller pieces and they are getting my bait let's reel in see what we got well one thing's for sure these fish yeah i'm robbed these fish are definitely heating the worms right here all right so check it out as y'all seen our first drop we picked up a trigger after that uh we got a remora and then we went on to catch a grunt we're getting robbed a lot right now not really sure what it is down there so i got this underwater camera that i'm going to rig up and we're going to be able to uh drop down and see exactly what is biting these worms so even if i don't catch it we can get a good glimpse at how these fish are responding what kind of fish are down there eating it uh maybe see if there's some red snapper around there looking at it and uh, just try to see what's on this reef so what i have here is just a go fish cam um and basically got my main line coming down right here and then i'm just going to connect my chicken rig down here at the base of that and that's going to just give a direct line of sight with that chicken rig so we should be able to see what all is eating our bait all right camera going down Let's see what we got all right so we just dropped down on this reef right here you can kind of see our two little chicken coops uh right there as we're falling down kind of get down there to the bottom we're seeing a lot of bait fish and boom there's a trigger already on it right there so there's two triggers that are keying in on these worms now triggers are notorious for stealing your bait so you can see him nibbling right there i know this camera's a little shaky but boom he just snagged my bait my bait's gone and boom we just snagged that one right there something's biting it i got him oh and that one's on camera that's a good fish i mean it's not a giant but what do we got is that a trigger yeah <laughs> tell me with the worm hanging out of his mouth <laughs> all i had to do was put the camera on there and boom i mean he's close to legal he's gonna be a throwback for sure he's about a 14 incher that's crazy i can't wait to get back and check the footage on that all right well that's our second trigger of the morning right there 
One thing's for sure, the triggers are eating them. Crazy how we were just getting robbed left and right. And as soon as I put that camera down there, first drop with it, we catch a trigger. That was pretty cool. If y'all like this type of content right here, where I go out and do all kinds of, I guess just unconventional styles of fishing. Like I don't know that anybody's ever taken worms offshore to try to catch these fish. Uh, but if y'all like this type of content, get this video to 900 likes. If this video gets to 900 likes, I will come out here and do more videos just like this. Also consider subscribing to the channel. We got a ton of awesome content getting ready to drop and head out to y'all. Uh, and to be able to make sure y'all get to see that content, hit the subscribe button. All right, going back down with the camera. This is our very next drop down here on these chicken coops. And as these worms get down to the bottom, you can see uh, these trigger fish just start coming out of nowhere. Uh, and pretty much in, in no time flat, they have robbed me completely of any bait. All right, so we're gonna go with Old Faithful right here, and we're just gonna try. We got a little bit of a drift, so I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not, but we're gonna try to just free line an old dead sig just like that over the top of this reef. Let's see if we can pick something up on that. Oh, there he is, there he is, got him. There we go. Mm. That might be a decent fish. Come on. There we go. Free line on the whole sig. Rusty had to start chumming to get him to do anything. Pretty much the theme of the day. Just been slow. He's not pulling any drag on me. He's also not feeling like a snapper. I'm about to see. Yeah, it's a red snapper. Decent one. There we go. Well, that right there would be a keeper coming in right around probably 19, 20 inches, maybe a little over. And that is our fourth species on the day. So there are red snapper down there. Couldn't get them to eat the worm, but I did get them to eat the old cigar minnow. <laughs> All right, dude, we're gonna send you back and try to pick up a bigger one let's chunk another one of these guys out and we're gonna give rusty a little hand with the chum here got a couple of pieces chewed up ready to go chewed up rather cut up uh, sometimes especially on a day like today you gotta chum a lot a couple of handfuls won't really do much for them uh, you start sending them some food they will come up off the bottom and get into a feeding mode, if you will. Oh, he's on, he's on. Got him, got him. Fish number two. Chumming is doing the trick. Oh, yeah. Come on, dig. <sighs> Woo. There are some really big mangroves down here on these reefs too, y'all, so. That's not gonna be a mangrove there, but that's definitely better than the last one. Yeah, woo! All right, appreciate you cooling me off there, buddy. Warming up, getting bigger, getting bigger. That one there is about a 24 inch or so. Now, today is Monday. We are in Florida and snapper season is open right now but it's only open friday through sunday so we missed it by one day or we would be taking these guys to the house yeah mm. don't get me buddy I'm just trying to show you off one time make you famous all right see you buddy give you one good flip boom bye bye all right, just tossed another bait out there. See if we can go three for three on free lining. Y'all, this is really the way to go out here, especially, you know, when these fish get a lot of pressure and stuff. 
just kind of chunking some bait out there, bringing those fish up off the reef and free lining them something. It's not something you can do if the weather is real rough and stuff. If you got a lot of heavy current, it won't really work. But right now, the current is not too bad. It's not the best, but it's not too bad. And uh, yeah, I mean, in my opinion, it is probably the, the best way to go about catching fish out here off of these reefs. Oh, look at that, we got him. He's taking line, taking line. Got him. Oh, yes, no, 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 oh, man, that was a giant, y'all. Did he break me or did the hook pull? Broke me. Ah, he got me in the structure. All right, well, that one got me. We're going to throw back out there and try to not get wrecked this time. No, I'm getting bit. I'm on. There he goes. Got him. Get him up. Mm, can't really. Yeah, that's a good one. Come on. Mm, don't burn me in the structure. Oh, I felt the structure. Come on. Lift. Lift. No. <laughs> Man. That's incredible, dude. Such strong fish. Woo, buddy. Got me again. All right, well, that's two of them that have wrecked us. So definitely some big fish down there. I'd love to see. I'd love to see what it is. Could be some just giant mangrove. There's also grouper down here, so... That's a possibility as well. Gonna be in the structure. There he goes. He's got bit. Something small was messing with. It. There he goes. Something small was messing with it, and we got something smaller on. What do we got? <laughs> all right well that's one of the tiniest fish of the day nothing like a eight inch red snapper all right buddy go back home all right y'all well, we're gonna go ahead and call it there not a bad day offshore caught us a couple of decent red snapper had a couple of solid runs that we didn't hook up on and we got to see what worms would do offshore i am going to try that a little bit more in the future though i'm pretty sure uh, that i can get some really really good results out of those worms but i hope y'all enjoyed this video oh one last thing y'all comment what do y'all think about the worms is this something y'all would be willing to try is this something you're even interested in seeing uh i would love to know in the comment section but yeah uh, if y'all would leave a like comment, subscribe. We'll see y'all next time.